New at 10, three people lost at sea for weeks are recovering after they were rescued by Texas A&M cadets. Yeah, it's quite the video here. Those students were on a training mission with the Texas A&M Maritime Academy aboard the T.S. Kennedy. The rescue happened in the middle of the Gulf of Mexico, 500 miles off the coast of Galveston. Marcelino Benito is live tonight with how this all went down. Marcelino. Len and Mia, these cadets are in the middle of their summer sea semester and their training got very real very soon. Uh, this is about as, as real as it can get. Saturday morning, as the sun was beginning to rise over the Gulf, something caught the eye of cadet lookouts aboard the T.S. Kennedy. We had spotted something right in the dead center of our track line. Cadet William Flores says it was too far to see exactly what it was, but they soon realized they'd made a life-saving find. As we got even closer, we could see that there were about three individuals um, waving their hands, waving a flag, obviously in distress. Captain Wade Howell, in command of the training ship, radioed to the Coast Guard. Howell sent out a small rescue boat to investigate further. Turns out the small fishing boat had lost power and had been drifting at sea for 15 days. They were 500 miles away from Galveston in the middle of the Gulf. I was shocked that we had actually come up on that. Thank God we did. They were sunbaked, running low on food and water, and relieved somehow they'd been found. But if it had been the middle of the night, we would never have seen them at all. Uh, we would have just drove right by. It was meant to be, and the fact that we were just right place, right time. The three people rescued were brought on board the university ship, where they were fed and received medical care. And they were able to make contact with their loved ones back home, and um, it was a pretty uh, re good reunion. That They had been gone for several days, so... They were happy to know that they were still alive. On Sunday, they were transferred to the Coast Guard near Key West to be reunited with their families. And they were just so thankful hopping on the Coast Guard boat. And as they were going away, they were just, you know, thanking us. You know, you could tell that they were that they were doing signals like this. They were just really thankful for everything that we did for them. The cadets now continue on their 62 day semester at sea, their first port stop in Fort Lauderdale in just a few days. So this was really Great experience to see um, if anything like this ever happens, you know, in the real world on a ship that I'm on, that'll give me way more knowledge and know what to do in a situation like this. And Captain Hal tells us he has 20 years at sea, but has only ever experienced the same thing once before. The last time it happened, though, he was also training as a cadet at Texas A&M. Back to you. You are kidding. That's quite.